for every developing country or of India, social, cultural, political, and economical factors plays a major role in the development of the country. For every coin, there are two sides. Likewise, India has also two sides. First one is the prosperity one, while the second one is miseries of the below poverty land people. Is this a result or bad influence of the political systems? Is the glory of political system decreasing? Is this end of the better political system? Hello everyone. My name is Deepa Veena and I am from Andhra Pradesh. Here I am to express my views regarding the topic of post-mortem of politics. Definition of politics has been changed from being ruled to being purchased. Ours is a democratic country. Democracy means by the people, of the people and for the people. Now it has become by the politicians, of the politicians and for the politicians. Our India is a very young country. One out of every four is a youngster like you and me. Our political, democracy, parliamentary system has been the lifeline of our country. Every aspect is connected to this. But instead of solving the problems of the misery, it has become an unsolved puzzle. Everyone feels youngsters should come into politics for the betterment of the country. But when they show keen interest, they are being extremely apprehensive and inhibiting them and discouraging them. We are in a society where the success is determined by caste, religion, money, power and a family background. This system does not give a wide scope and the, brief, the broad base of the system is lagging here. The main problems can be like minority electors electing the majority of the legislatures like the low polling percentage, the declination of the standard of the politics and the advice of the administrators are not being accepted by the politicians and the distinctly the dynasty of the affluences which is simply called a theme of hierarchy selection of the misfit person is also a problem constitution is a major problem because it is so lengthy and it is filled with great sections which shows our pride but it has become loopholes for many people like politicians the upgradation is the need of the hour. Few innovatives initiated by the young minds are like uh, increasing the poll. When you don't vote, you have no right to question the society. Accountability of the persons and towards the society should increase. Uh, encouraging the meritocracy which leads to the integrity of the country is very important. Welcoming the young minds into the politics can give rise to Many candidates like uh, David Cameron, Barack Obama with the sheer, uh, sheer uh, talent and sheer uh, competencies. Uh, developing of a frame and scheduled work uh, in the every locality can bring better leaders to the society. Hereby, I conclude saying we have many pressurizing challenges in our nation like better education, health and infrastructure. But for every problem, a better governance and better political system is the main solution. A famous quote says, Rome was not built in a day. Likewise, changes take time. And let us not be an armchair in this society. Let us be a penny drop in the ocean of ideas. I would like to quote here the ominous words of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar saying, However be the constitution, if it is in the good Lord's hand, it will be good. However, bad a constitution is it will be a better when it is in the good lords on this occasion let us say, uh, resolve saying we will be good lords and give our nation future a better governed society and bring back the legacy thank you everyone for this opportunity jai hind